Hi guys, Scott Snyder here, and I've gotten some questions online, so I decided to make a short video. Today we're going to spin up this Jalligan spindle, this Scottish style spindle. So stick around, and we'll get right to it. So here's a spindle. As you can see, I got a cop wound onto it. And you wind on like a Nasta pin. So you're basically ball winding onto the spindle itself. So I'm going to take the ball off and show you the spindle. So the cop just comes off the top and it's a center pull ball. So if you look at the spindle itself, there's no whirl. It's just a shaft that gets larger. And on the bottom, there's an X. So there's notches across the bottom. And you use that to support the yarn when it's coming up. And we'll get it started and I'll show you that. First of all, I like to apologize that I'm sitting down. Normally I'd be standing up. It makes things a lot easier, but I strained my Achilles tendon. I've been laid up for the last week or so, so I'm sitting down. So I'm just going to take my comb top, and I'm going to spin a leader. I'm just going to poke it through, and then just roll it, draft it out a little bit, and then just roll it by hand, just to get some twist in there. And then I'm going to take it, and I'm going to put a half inch in, and that should hold it, hopefully. So I can get a leader spun. You know, you can start with a piece of scrap yarn as a leader, which can be faster. But I prefer not to have to use yarn to make yarn. So I'm going to wrap the yarn around my finger to come back up to where I started. I'm just going to pull the half hitch off, and I'm just going to break off a little bit on the end. That's just what I like to do. You don't have to do that. So I got my yarn. And I'm going to start winding it. It's exactly the same as winding a Nasta pen. So I'm just going to lay it down. And I'm going to go two, three, four, or five, whatever revolutions around. Now I want to give myself enough leader where I can get back to the top of the spindle. So I'm going to take it, and I'm going to bring it through the notches, bring the spindle around, barber pull it, just give it a little spin around so it's wrapping around the shaft, and then we're going to start spinning. It's a little wonky when it first starts out, but once you start building your cop, it'll settle down. So I'm going to put that initial three, four, five, six, whatever, rounds around, wrapping it around. And then I'm going to start winding it like a Nasta pen. So I'm going to bring it up, and I'm going to go over and then under that little piece. I realized it was a little hard to see what I was doing, so I just unwound the stuff I already spun, and I'm just going to rewind it on here. So I'm just going to take it, and I'm just going to wrap it. Like I said, three, four, five, six, seven times. It really doesn't matter. You're just starting your uh, your cop here. All right. Now this is exactly like winding an pen. I'm just going to go over, and I'm going to go under, and then it's going to mate back up where I started, and over, and under, and then I'm going to give it a little spin, then over, then under where I was, then over. So you're just building around those few winds that you already put in. Give it a little twist. You're just kind of always twisting it a little bit when you're feeding it. So just like a Nasta pen. And if you have a fancy Nasta pin, <laughs> well, a Nasta pin is basically a ball winder. It's just um, the, what came before having a ball winder. So if you knit or crochet off a cake, it's, it's the same thing. All right. So I'm going to get to the top here. I'm going to actually bring it over this notch. I'm going to bring it around. And since it's in the notch, it's going to support the yarn. So when you spin it, it's not going to fall apart. 
It's not going to fall off the spindle. And I'm just going to give it another spin. I'm just drafting out. And then you just repeat that over and over and over again. Rinse and repeat. So over and then under. Now this is what I like to do. As far as wrapping it underneath all the time, it drives me bonkers. So I'm just going to barber pull it up. And when I wrap, I'm going to go under, I'm going to go down and then back up. And that's going to give me a little bit of support. So it's going to stay together. And then I'm going to take the single give a wider see my headphones and some fiber that's awesome apparently somebody's playing badminton in here too so then I'm going to take the yarn and I'm just going to make a temporary cop so I'm just going to spin a temporary cop kind of like when you're support spinning and I'm going to keep spinning that Basically what I'm doing is I'm building up the single here and then I'm going to take it and I'm going to wind it down to the bottom. Now I'm doing this so I can concentrate more on the, the winding because having to do it every single time gets a little bit old. I'd rather do it in segments. Alright, so I'm just going to do a little cooking show thing and I'll be back in a all right, so this is a spindle, and I put a larger cop on it, just to demonstrate when you're winding onto the spindle. When you start getting to the top, let me change the focus here. Now, if you keep winding it against the spindle every revolution, it's going to start getting football shaped, just like on an Ostapen. So to counteract that, when you spin, when you wind it on, you start winding on the ledge of what you already wound on. So if you can see here, I'm not winding against the spindle, I'm actually winding it onto the cop. And that'll help keep it in a ball shape. All right. And I would also, well, I'll go across the bottom. I would also like to demonstrate how to do a half hitch, in case you don't know how, I thought I'd show you. Now I'm taking my left hand with the fiber in, and I'm using my index finger, and I'm going to take the spindle from behind, put it through, and then pull. And that'll give you your half hitch. Now how I like to remove the half hitch is, I'll take my left hand with the fiber, I'll give it a little tug underneath the knot, and pop it off with the finger on my other hand. So, boom, you get your half hitch, and then to remove it under, and then pop it over. So I think that about wraps it up for this little spindle. If you have any questions, let me know. Thank you so much for watching.